Short history of Nkuhama Pride The history of Nkuhama Pride is largely unknown. They were known as the Nkuhama Pride. And they had Blondie and Dozy as their two dominant males. They lived in the northern Sabi Sands around 2006. They had a lot of newborn cubs in 2007. But bad times were about to strike. A coalition of six males known as the Mapogo males invaded from the south, attacked the Inkuhumas, and killed Blondie. A few females took the remaining cubs and fled north with the remaining male, Dozy. Some of these females and cubs are thought to have joined the Talamati pride, while others stayed and accepted the Mapagus. However, Things were not good when Inkuhumas were separated into numerous groups in 2008. Two more Manuleti men arrived from the north, and it appears that they forced Dozi to leave his group while simultaneously fighting with the Mapagus. They also killed a few females. Gijima men, two additional new males, joined the game in 2009. As one guy was murdered by Mapagus and another abandoned this region. Manuleti men were vanquished. Imlawatus, Gijimus, and New Majingalane males were three coalitions vying for the Nkuhama groups. As 2010 drew near, Gijima males remained in the north after Majingilanese conquered the Imlawatus, and occupied their country farther south. But that didn't last long. As two Gijima men and one Nkuhama young man were shot by outsiders, as they fled the reserve in the early months of 2011. Snaggletooth, a well-known Nkuhama woman from that era, vanished in 2009. We only had a few female survivors from those, dark days. Nana and her sister, who would eventually become known as Junior's mother. Together with their two Nkuhama brothers, famous Saizanani and his limping brother, were the most well-known. The first Matimba cubs were born in 2012 through many litters, and they still serve as the ancestors of Inkuhumas. They were born alongside their famous brother Junior Inkuhuma, Matimba, together with purple eyes, ridge nose, amber eyes, and chela. Hairy belly and ginger, S. Matimbas, who had separated from their four brothers shortly after, were in command of the southern part of their territory. Midway through 2016, Nana and the young Inkuhumas began mating with boys. And the first cubs were born. Boys ruled over Inkuhumas for more than two years until they abandoned them in early 2018. They accepted the subadult offspring of the boys, which at the start of 2019 consisted of four sub-females, one sub-male, and one adoptive Imhangeni young male. Later through 2018, three N evokers became the dominant males. But then few months in 2019, old Nkuhama female, Nana, passed away. She was very protective of two young boys from evokers. Some speculated that she even died protecting him. So with her gone, NK and Imhangeni males were ousted from Inkuhumas around mid-2019, still occasionally returning to the pride in months to come when there was no evokers around. At that time, first evoker offspring was born to older females from mid-2019 onwards. One of the four younger females followed her brother, Inkuhama male, in nomadic life. She disappeared in 2020. Other three younger females gave birth around mid-2021 to seven cubs. After mid-2021, two older Inkuhama females, Ridge Nose and Amber Eyes were back in Estrus. They abandoned their area and moved west in search for new males. In Singita they found young Plains Camp males and in early 2022 gave birth to two cubs. Ridge Nose and Amber Eyes, two older Nkuhama females, left their region after mid-2021 when they went back into Estrus. And they migrated west in search of new males. They discovered young Plains Camp males in Singita, where they later gave birth to two cubs in early 2022.
In Kuhama are currently divided into two to three groups. Ridge Nose and Amber Eyes, who split off and are now with PC Boys. Are followed by the sub-adults group, Chella and Purple Eyes, two sub-females and five sub-males. Followed by the Cubs group, three younger females and seven cubs. Who still occasionally hang out with the two N Evokers, Mohawk and Blondie. Thanks for watching.